your captain speaking. We're about to experience some major turbulence. Ah! Oh no! It's bombier than expected! I'm gonna need your help, co-pilot! Ah! It looks like Colonel Chip is crumbling under the pressure! Ah! Molly? Where are you? Go big! Oh, lost track of time while looking at neck pillows, huh? You're a girl after my own heart. Well, Mom's flight just landed. Are you ready? Ready! Yay! Welcome back, Mom! What'd you bring me? I mean, I missed you. Missed you too, Polly. And, as a matter of fact, I did bring you a little something from Ireland. <gasps> Gold coins? Did you go on a work trip to dig up buried treasure? Are you half mom, half pirate? Easy, kiddo. These are gold-wrapped chocolate coins. The only thing better than treasure is yummy treasure. Thanks, Mom! Arrgh! Time to eat me treasure! Don't! Me eye! <gasps> A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, and I don't appreciate you poking me in the eye, lady. Sorry, I had no idea you were there. I didn't even know leprechauns were real. I guess I should have, since once my friend Shawnee and I went to this place called Area 59 and we met all these mythological creatures and... Hey, nice pencils! Hey, you know what? Just forget you saw me. Leprechauns aren't supposed to be seen like little green ninjas with cool hats. Yeah! <laughs> you keep quiet and I'll be on my way. Your secret's safe with me. I'm Polly Pocket and this is my house. Well, what are you there, Polly P? The name's Fred and I was just following this so-called treasure. See, I was born and raised in a clover field in Ireland. Lived there until my situation sent me searching for a new home. I thought I found my ticket out. But all that glitters is chocolate. <sighs> now, I'm just a poor leprechaun, all alone, nowhere to go. And me life savings is melting under me bum. Well, you're welcome to stay here. No, 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 I... I don't want to impose. I'd love to have a leprechaun roommate. Really? You mean it? Tiny friends are always welcome in this house. I think you're gonna like it here. Voila! The pool! Where in we go? It's like it was made for me! Woohoo! Welcome to the tiny treehouse, complete with... <laughs> Look, one hand! Um, glad you're making yourself at home. And feel free to relax in the spa with a cup of Earl Green. How'd you know that green is my jam? I love to wear it, love to see it, love to drink it. <laughs> ah, so, I gotta ask, what's with all the tiny? Looks like you were expecting a leprechaun to show up. Not exactly, but since I found out about your secret, I guess it would be okay for you to know a tiny secret about me. Tiny power! Oh, leap and limerick. Thanks for sharing with me, Polly P. You know, we should... Oh, never mind. What? What's wrong? Well, leprechauns have a tradition. When we make a real friend who we share secrets with, <laughs> we have a party. Oh, but there'll be no party this time. Even though I've been so lonely. Hmm. I might know some people. So, leprechauns were like my gateway into mythological studies. And the one thing I can't find an answer to is, do all leprechauns like green? Thoughts on rose gold. Are leprechauns really that good at mending shoes? Green is the best, it's the lesser gold, and it's totally offensive that you think leprechauns and elves are the same thing. But who cares? These questions are boring! Fred, we're just excited to get to know you. And I'm excited to party like you promised. Member, Dad, party! your mythical being research, are all leprechauns that dismissive? Definitely not. Cut him some slack. Something bad must have happened that made him leave his home. So, let's dance! Wow, he sure knows how to party. The question is, does he know how to stop? Of course he does. In fact, I think it's time to call it a night. All right, party's over. Aw, 
but it's just getting started. Oh, we have to get some sleep, Fred. <sighs> yeah, I'm pooped. Well, see you tomorrow, dude. See you around. Go big! <sighs> Good night, Fred. Ah, I'm just gonna stay up a tad longer. Jet lag, you know. <laughs> Yes, my house is your house after all. Sleep tight, Fred. <sighs> what happened to my room? Polly, you got a postcard in the mail from Grandma and Richard. <gasps> Polly, your room is a pigsty. Sorry, Mom. I'll clean it. Thanks for dropping off the postcard. <sighs> I'm gone for a week, and Polly's a mess. Tiny power! <sighs> Fred, it's a mess in here. What happened last night? <sighs> well, you all left me alone, so I had to draw on my own face. I shouldn't have used permanent marker. <sighs> Let me... You know how you said leprechauns are a secret? Well, my powers need to be a secret from everyone in this house. Don't I know it? Parents can be such a drag, right? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just need you to be a little more discreet for both of us, okay? Oh, yeah, sure, Mom. I, I mean, Polly P. I'll be more careful. Starting now. Morning, Polly. Dad, wait! I love you? I love you too, Polly Pie. Polly, did you put the empty milk carton back and make a mess? <sighs> yes, that was me. Sorry, Dad. Oh, I mean, uh, starting now. Great, Johnny. I'll meet you there. <gasps> Fred, no! Give me that! Polly? You painted Pierce's shoe? That's so not like you. Or anyone, for that matter. Actually, Shawnee, I have to take a rain check. I got... Fred. Mm. Oh, yeah. This one came out back home a few months ago. <laughs> Just going to get more popcorn. <laughs> Fred, I don't think you living here is working out. Hey, look, look, I'll be a better house guest. Star 10, now! You keep saying that, but then you keep getting me in trouble. You're very hard to live with. You're the one who's impossible to live with, just like me mom. Your mom? Yeah, she said I was irresponsible and sloppy and a big risk of exposing all leprechauns. Straighten up or leave, she said. So I left. Then I tried to live with my brother, a guy I knew from school, some dudes I met by a castle, and it's always the same story. But I'm not leaving again! Can you please keep it down? No can do, Polly P. You said I could stay for as long as I want. So see you around, Rumi. <laughs> my zip line? Fred's out of control, and now I don't even know where he is. We have to find him before he exposes your secret. Good thing Mr. Mythological Man has a plan. Maybe I haven't been welcoming enough. No, Polly. You've been too nice. He's using you. Shawnee's right. He's been kind of a jerk. You have to stand up for yourself, Polly. Ooh. Oh, is that treasure? <laughs> <laughs> It's time for you to go. We're sending you back to your home. We packed your box with plenty of chocolate and supplies. Just tell me which Cloverfield I should address it to. I thought you were me roomy. Roomies don't ruin each other's rooms. Or almost expose their secrets. I'm sorry, Polly P. Everywhere I go, it's the same story. Me home doesn't want me. Nobody does. I should be alone. You don't have to be alone. You just need to learn to be more considerate. And where am I supposed to learn to do that? A mythological guy like me doesn't fit in anywhere. I know where you could fit in. 
Area 50 Nun. Area 50 Nun? It's a place for mythological beings. Look, everybody's there. But you'd have to learn to be a good roommate. Oh! <gasps> Bigfoot's there? That bloke is a legendary party animal! Oh, I'll do anything to go. Hmm. We know people. <laughs> Whoever decorated this place only used one color. And I love it! This place is amazing! Oh, you guys got any green tea? We can party! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>